Good morning, pirates and mermaids. Today is day two of our uh, flutter wrap sew along. Yesterday we cut the pattern pieces, we graded for our sizes, so now we're ready to dig into the uh, nitty gritty and cut our fabric and um, get it ready for tomorrow when we start the actual sewing process. So uh, let me talk to you a little bit about the, the fabrics that work for this, um, um, this pattern first. Uh, the best results and the most beautiful dresses and shirts will be um, achieved by using fabric with great drape. So my most favorite fabric for this pattern is bamboo lycra which is amazingly breathable it's perfect for humid weather like we have here in florida it's already started it has beautiful beautiful drape and um, a, a very cool feel to the touch um, other fabrics that will work beautifully would be uh, rayon spandex would work great uh, some poly blends will work great, fabric with a lot of spandex in it and with great drape. Um, I would not recommend cotton lycra, especially custom cotton lycra, because it's stiffer. The drape is not perfect. It will work better for the kids option, but uh, I would definitely not use it for the adult option. Um, other fabrics that you could use, you could try this in swim if you have a, if you're okay with wearing swim. I, I can't imagine wearing swim as a dress, but I, I have friends who do like it. Um, what else? So basically anything that, that you can find that it's uh, Cupro would work well for this. Um, anything with a, with a great, um, great drape. So you can see it doesn't tan out. I'm using for my dress uh, this week, I'm using a gorgeous, gorgeous bamboo uh, lycra from our sponsor, also Pretty Custom Fabric. So do join their Facebook group. Uh, I will link it in the blog post too. Uh, they are also giving us uh, pri two prizes for the winners at the end of the sew along. So, but you do need to be a member of their group to qualify. Um, and um, so let's get started. This is actually part of their uh, current round, I believe. For, I'm starting with the back piece. The back piece uh, is uh, drafted to have a seam down the back. Uh, the pattern uses a lot of fabric, especially because of the fold over on the front. So in order for uh, uh, you guys to be able to use as little fabric as possible uh, the patterns for pirates team Judy and Nicole decided to uh, do the cutting layout with the, um, the fabrics facing the uh, the pattern pieces facing the opposite way um, this way it will uh, use as little fabric as possible unfortunately that doesn't work if you're using a directional print and I am using a directional print so if I were to place my fabric piece one side like this and the other side like this as it is in the suggestion of the pattern then my, my graphic would be upside down on half of my back and we don't want that so that's only a suggested uh, layout for fabric if you're using non-directional print or solids because I'm using a directional print, I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually make my life easier and skip the seam on the back because I don't really need it right now. I'm going to put my fabric on fold and because the back includes a seam allowance of half an inch uh, because of the seam, I'm going to just move my pattern piece half an inch away from the edge. This way, uh, it's basic, it's going to be like I've already sewn the, the um, back seam. So if I move my, my pattern piece a little more outside of the fold by half an inch, then I'm just going to cut the fabric on fold and I won't have a seam on my back um, when I sew the dress. Because it's a directional print and I have enough fabric, 
uh, I, I can go ahead and do that. If you don't have enough um, fabric to do it on fold, you, would, you can still do two cuts, but you will have to make sure that they're mirror cuts. And um, you will just have to make sure that the, the pattern piece faces the same direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this, and then we'll move to the front of the dress. This is such a beautiful print, I love it. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I am working with a, a little over a one inch cut, and a, a one yard cut and a two yard cut, so that's why you'll see my pieces I have two, diff two different cuts of the same print. All right, so my back is already cut. Now I'm gonna move on to cutting the front. So see, you would have, if you've done the cutting according to this pattern, you will have two pieces right now. I only have one for the back with no seam because I placed it on fold and removed the seam allowance. All right, let's cut the front. Always start with the biggest pieces of your pattern when you cut to make sure you have enough. Don't start with the flounce or um, a sleeve. Cut, always start with the biggest pattern pieces. Now, again, I'm, I'm going to try to squeeze this with only one cut. If you're in the smaller size range, then you shouldn't have any problem doing this. If you're in the uh, plus size range, you may not be able to get this. We'll see. We'll see if it works. If not, we'll have to lay the fabric and make two cuts. I'm trying to see if I can get only one cut, and I can, okay. So I guess for one to two X would still work. Maybe a little bigger sizes, it won't work. But I can do, I lay my fabric folded, so now I have to make only one cut, and it's going to be a, be a mirror image. All right, perfect. So you should have one or two pieces for the back, two pieces for, for the front, and make sure you put your notches on the... This is where my notches are, so I'm going to just cut them on the outside. our front cut with the notches right there so now the next big piece that I want to make sure I have enough of the front of the main print are the sleeves 
and then we'll see what we have left for the flounces and for the um, uh, waist ties. Alright, set those aside and let's cut the sleeves. I'm going to see if I have enough of the scraps to cut at least one of the sleeves, but I don't think that's enough. I'll check. Because I'm doing the flatter sleeve. Ah, so close. I'm missing a little bit. Okay, so this is not gonna work from this scrap. Let's see if this one will work. But that might work for a flounce. We'll see. We gotta be frugal with our custom fabric, right? Hmm. And this will work for a sleeve. I think. Yep. Alright, so at least from the scraps we got one sleeve. And then we gotta make sure that the other sleeve will be a mirror image of this. I like to cut uh, both at the same time just by laying the fabric right the wrong sides together. But in this case, since I wanna save fabric, I'm just gonna make two cuts. We just need to make sure we remember to cut the mirror images. Don't forget to add your notches. The two notches on the will show you that that's the back of the sleeve, and the one notch will show you that's the front, and uh, the other this one will show you where the um, sho um, shoulder seam is. have one sleeve now we gotta make sure we cut the sleeve the other sleeve like that or either flip the fabric or flip the pattern piece but one of them needs to be flipped all right so this is what I have left fabric wise so let's see Get, gathering all the scraps to make sure I have enough for the flounces too. Alright, so I think I'm gonna start here. I'll, I'm trying to be as as least wasteful as possible. So okay, we'll do it on this side. The, the coordinates that I have is just a half a yard and I know it's not enough to do all the flounce pieces. So we might get creative with this and do the coordinate as a flounce just for the front and the back with the main print. We'll see. We can get creative. And I know I want to make the waistband ties with the coordinate so they will pop a little bit. All right, so the second sleeve is done. And the mirror image. So we got 
front, back and sleeves. Now let's work on the flounces. And here is where the good old fashioned Tetris game will happen because I doubt that I'll have enough to do all flounces with this. So we're gonna do maybe the back first and then we'll do the front with the coordinate and the waist ties with the coordinate. All right, so, and I do want to cut my flounces at the same time. So I'm putting the fabric on fold and let's see. I have three flounce pieces. This is for the front. This, oh, this is for the back, okay. We're gonna put the front aside and I'm gonna work with the back and see if I'm lucky. And I might be lucky. Huh? Come on, be lucky. Hmm. It looks like if this is not winning the fabric, look at this, this is where it ends and this is where it ends. Holy cannoli, this is lucky. Wow. Uh, it is a directional print, so you cannot not have uh, characters upside down. You won't be able to change that because I'm using a directional print for the flounce. So don't judge me on that. I don't have enough of the coordinates. I would have liked the flounce with the coordinates, but I, I really don't have enough. So I know at least the back we'll have to have the flounce with the main print. If this is not winning the fabric chicken, I don't know what is. So I'm cutting two at the same time because I put my fabric wrong sides together. crazy. I'm even impressing myself right now. All right, so I'm going to keep these together so I don't mix them up. So I know this is the back of the flounce. For the day when we get to work on those. All right, so now round Right now we need to work on the front flounce, so we'll see what we have to work with here. I doubt that we'll be able to get all of them from this piece, but we'll see. that lucky again I might huh. let's see because I know I have enough of the scraps to get the other one and this way I'll just make the ties with the coordinate and the binding for the neckline see if I can figure out how this will look like because I think I might be better off if I cut it this way either way I will have characters that are gonna be upside down and I am okay with that okay so again I need two mirror images of this
and then I'm going to need one more for the front. Alright, and again I'm keeping these two together so I don't mix them up. And now let's see if the scraps are enough for my front. And I think they will be. So one like this. And then one more. Huh. Up there. I knew I had a bigger scrap. Oh, oh no, this is a sleeve. Oh yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I've done it a few times where I took my a piece of the pattern and I thought it was a scrap and it was actually a sleeve or a smaller piece. Okay. This is the one I was looking for. Okay, I'm making sure they're going in the same direction, laying them wrong sides together and oh, look at that I got all my all my um, pieces so I know this will be at the bust so if I want to have like a character I'm gonna cut it like this like this all right So I'm going to cut this and then all I have left to do is cut the waist tie, ties and the neck binding. I don't have a neckline flutter. I'm not a fan of neckline flutters. So mine will be just a simple binding for the neckline. The pattern piece is in the pattern itself. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those right now. And I will post a picture of the cut fabric in the comments of day two of the sew along album i encourage you to do the same that will be your check-in for day two and i will see you back here tomorrow when we will be sewing the um, shoulder seams the side seams and the back seam bye